I hope you're sitting and prepped and ready, because the title of this video is absolutely no lie whatsoever. Our world is filled with so many rich cultures and so many great people and so many places that have had an interesting and unique story. A unique story that is so compelling that many of the eyes from other parts of the world can't help but read the passages of its history. And today, it has been a long time and we are finally, finally re visiting the country of India, and I know it's a country that definitely deserves this. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Wapple here, and welcome to FTD Facts. This is a channel for those people who've never been here before, that we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Like, we love just learning about different places and what good things and bad things happen in those places. Because the world is a story, and we are all a part of that story. And like I said, this video is well overdue, because the last time we talked about India was in our part four fact, and that was January of 2017. And since then, you guys have gone crazy to ask for a part five. Like, literally, I can't even list off how many of you guys have done it because it's been so popular it's one of our most anticipated videos of all time but let's get into it guys I just want to mention that check out grammarly.com at the end of this video because they are our sponsor you can sign up for them it's a really cool program that helps improve your grammar and English and although it's totally free if you sign up for it you actually help us create more videos but on top of that I also want to know what is your favorite thing about India I mean it's hard for me to say. I would say in our past facts, I really like the whole tradition of Holly because it's just, it's so cool. Everyone's just throwing colors at each other. But I also like their New Year's because they just pretty much throw water at each other and the water is like representation for washing away your sins. It's just fun. But let's get started on India and continue this journey to learn more about the great people and culture of India. Now in our previous videos, we talked a lot about population, culture, history, art, and film. But one thing we never mentioned was, well, how does India work as a country. For so many people, there has to be some sort of control for its people, and within that control, we must look at money. And no matter how you feel about money, whether it's good or bad, it is a thing that does have control over us as human beings. In India, they go by the Indian rupee, which gets its name from the 6th century silver coin, rupiah, which was used by the Mughal Empire after Sultan Shir Shah Suri issued it. Now, one thing that's fascinating is that India is one of the first countries in the entire world to ever use coins for currency. And even though the English tried to change the currency to gold, and even with the silver crisis in the 1800s, India's rupee remained silver even when the rupee banknote came in in 1861. And in today's world, as of July in 2017, 64 rupees will equal one US dollar. So India is a country that has contributed a lot to the world. Not just inventions, not just Nobel Peace Prizes, but they've also done other things for peace. As a matter of fact, when it comes to its army, to this date, India has been on 43 peacekeeping missions. As well as during all these missions, India has sent out a total of over 180,000 troops towards these peacekeeping missions. And this all really began with their involvement in Korea in the 1950s. And out of all these missions and contributions, one stands out for sure, as India is the first country to ever have a UN female-formed police unit. And these women, since 2007, Seven have spent nine years in Liberia only to return home in 2016. And speaking of home, let's talk about what India is home to. That is the Venkatswara Temple, which is one of the most visited temples not just in the country but in the entire world. The Venkatswara Temple, for example, receives 50 to 100,000 visitors a day. And that is not even including for special events. Overall, it receives up to 40 million visitors a year and is the most visited Hindu temple in the entire world. And because of its visitors who give donations, it is most likely one of the richest temples on the planet. Now we all know India is a country with a lot of people, but how is this country broken up? Where do all these people live? India is broken up into 29 different provinces and 7 territories. The biggest being Rajasthan, which has an area of 342,239 square kilometers. Basically, it is almost the size of the Republic of Congo. 
However, Uttar Pradesh, which may not be the biggest in land, it has the most population. With a population of over 204 million people, and it comes in first out of any province or territory or subject or state on the entire planet when it comes to population. Now, although there are a lot of people in India, it is also considered one of the 17 mega diversities on the planet. And this is due to the fact that India has a lot of ecosystems. From desert to forest to highland, plains, archipelago, and swamps. For this reason alone, it has 7 to 8.6 of Earth's entire mammal life, 12.6 to 3.7 of avian species on the planet, 6% of all the reptiles on the planet, and it has 13% of all the fish, and 6% of flowering plants that are seen on Earth. And considering we're talking about ecosystems, we should probably mention the fact that India's forests cover 21.2% of the entire country. And as a whole, it is a part of one of the eight ecosystems called the Indo-Malayan realm, which consumes the entirety of South and Southeast Asia. And you know what, heck it, considering we're talking about, you know, forests, let's talk about trees. Have you ever heard of suicide trees? Known as Subira Odolan, and between the years of 1989 and 1999, there were 500 cases of people killing themselves with this plant. And this is one of the most poisonous plants in the entire country because if you consume one of the kernels or the seeds, it'll stop your heart from beating. It's that bad. And you know what, while we're on the topic of nature and environment, we should probably mention that the first national park system was developed in 1935, with the first national park of India being the Jim Corbett National Park, which was founded a year later in 1936 and was known as the Haley National Park back then. And today, India has over 103 parks with a collective area of 40,500 kilometers square, which makes up about 1 to 2% of the entire mass of India. And that is just talking only about national parks, as the rest of the protected zones equal 156,700 square kilometers, which is roughly about 4 to 5% of the surface area of India. And this includes parks and other areas and over 500 animal sanctuaries. And one of these parks in specific is the Desert National Park. It is unique because 20% of it is sand dunes. But sand dunes aren't the only thing that makes it unique. It is also one of the only places where you can see the Indian buzzard, which is an endangered bird only found in India. And as for its featured Gadzitsar Sagar National Tank, it's a really interesting place to visit because thousands of birds come and migrate there every single year. But there you have it guys, that is another video on us talking about India, and it's always amazing to learn more about this country. And for us, we talked more about the nature side of the country, but let's not forget that nature is beautiful, and it's also beautiful that people protect wildlife. But I'm Dave Wapple, and as always, it's been so much fun learning about India. It's one of my favorite countries on the entire planet. It just got such a cool, unique history and culture, and there's just so much interesting things about India itself. But before you guys get out of here, guys, you should check out Grammarly.com backslash FTD Facts. These guys are our sponsor. If you sign up for them, it's totally free. It helps improve your grammar, and you guys help us get more financing for our videos. And on top of that, for those who are new here, we do videos Monday to Friday every single day talking about new cultures and places around the world. So if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But this has been the country of India, a proud and interesting nation that takes pride in protection of its wildlife. Wildlife that thrives throughout the country, which represents the energy of its country and its people. This is India, a home and history to not just mankind, but a place for all living things humble on this planet. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Share these videos if you want your friends to learn about what you're passionate about. On top of that, guys, if you want to learn more about India, you can hit this video right here. It's got some cool facts. And if you want to keep learning about countries, you'd be surprised what you'd know when you find out by clicking this playlist, our countries playlist. But other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to leave a comment for a future FTD Facts video down there. Cool? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.